What's up, everyone? My name is Ruben, and I'm back with something special. I have a booster, a helper. If you're into breakdance, you're gonna like this video. Oh, welcome, everybody. <laughs> My name is Ruben, and I'm excited because I don't. I don't, know how to, I don't know how to explain this. I've been working on this project for 10 months and I'm super pumped. It's not a framework like the other companies, right? It's not a framework, but it's a booster. If you're into breakdance, it's going to really, I got to move my coffee over here. It's really going to um, improve your flow and how you design things and take some things off your plate. So whenever you build a new uh, breakdance website you don't have to think about it right you just work and it includes up to or i think we have 405 low five wireframes ready to go or not ready to go we're working on that but this is like a pre intro video for you and what am i talking about it's been a minute and i haven't said anything well i want to introduce headspin what is Headspin? Headspin is a um, a booster, a helper. I ha I can't use the word core. <laughs> I don't want everyone to attack me. It's core framework. No, it's not. It's this project technically here was for me. I wanted something to help me increase and in speed up my breakdance experience, right? So one of the things that I really need help in with spacing with typography, with page widths, right? I guess um, light and dark themes. Let me see what else. My color palettes. And I hate thinking about, you know, which on the gap, for example. I hate thinking about, is it 20 pixels? Is it 30 pixels? Let's just use a simplified system ready to go, right? So I'll go back to the screen here. Okay. So I've created me, Renato, started 10 months ago creating Headspin, main, mainly for my clients and for myself, but he convinced me that we need to push this out to the public. So I have three examples here of some frames, right? One of them has breakdance open here. Let me see if I can change this. Yep. Yeah. This has breakdance open. This one doesn't. This one doesn't. So if you ever, I had one, the reason why this added this feature, the dark mode and light mode is because one client called me one day and said, Hey, I want my website dark. I think that's cool. And I had to go individually to each system and change uh, the website. It was annoying. So what did I do? Made a button. You click dark mode, hit save. Now your whole website's dark instantly. And that's all you have to do. Bring it back to light. And it's back. Isn't that amazing? Right? So we have a system designed with Radix, Radix, however you pronounce it. People pronounce it different ways. That the colors are automatically and systematically uh, assess accessible. I can't even pronounce the word this morning. I'm still drinking the coffee. Another cool thing I needed, one guy called me and said, hey, I need my page to be smaller, like a blog, like kind of like a centralized blog. I'm like, how do I do this? Now, I just changed the pixel width, let's say to nine, 900. Hit save. And it's 900. So this kind of broke the design, but not all designs are designed to be 900, but you get the picture. Everything here, like for example, on the background, I don't mess with the background. I mess with the ca the inner canvas. So there you go. Hold on. Reset this. And then you can also adjust the gaps if you need to. By default, I think breakdance is 20 gap, 20 pixels on each side. You can do that. We also have um, um, typography, very uniform system. Uh, everyone adapts this kind of system of how to scale typography, not inventing the wheel. 
But now you don't have to think it on this plugin head spin automatically goes into breakdance. So this controls all your breakdance fonts. So you control that from here, right? So simple, nothing complicated, right? And then the spacing as well. So we have section spacing. We have, uh, you can see all the spacing values and this. I'll show you why this is important in a minute. So you can adjust, you can adjust the multiplier. If you want to, um, you're going to do the components, the component, meaning like cards, things like that, cards or buttons, cards, and then sections, right? So we have all that there. The most powerful thing we have, I feel, is introducing the, the radix or the radix system as a color option, right? So now systematically it creates a light mode and a dark mode for you automatically. So you can use a color already pre-picked for you from their system that's been used for many years, or you can introduce a custom and it'll create a variant for you, right? So for example, if you notice here, the whole website is green. I think that's my default color. Let's change it to this pink. Now your brand color, this replaces your brand color within breakdance, right? So now you have your brand color and your whole website now updates all across the board, right? You don't have to do anything. You just pick the color updates, all the variants, all 12, um, variants within the color spectrum changes. I feel like that's amazing. And I will show you why that's important here in a second. So you can add more multiple colors, but how do we move it from here to the builder? Right? So let me go in here. Let me go and in, into your global settings right? You go to colors. There's no easy way. Let me delete all these. There's no easy way to do this, right? Imagine a user adding all these colors by hand. It's, it will take you forever. It will at least take at least an hour, <laughs> not forever, but an hour. So whenever you install breakdance, all you have to do is install head spin, open up your color palette, add a color. You're going to add just a random color. This is the only way we figured out how to inject this. So you add a running, a random color, you go to your back end and you would hit sync. So you run the sync and it's going to add all the colors for you, right? So then you can delete that one color you have, and then you're good to go. So now you save it and on the front end, Everything should work just as perfect. It's the pink. Isn't that amazing? And now the reason <laughs> the controversy, the controversial color picker, what I hate is trying to in inject something different, right? So now whenever you want to adjust the background, you have the color system here in place. You can choose a dark background. You can choose uh, different colors within the spectrum of that color, right? So you want to do a soft pink, white, almost whitish. It's not hundred percent white. It's just a little pinkish white, but you can choose now within the native builder. I wanted to create something that's natively built into breakdance. I'm not trying to create something abstract or something separate. You use the breakdance color picker and you inject all your colors, you build and you call it a day. So let's imagine, right? You have your website. Boom, boom. You created. One, two, three, you created the entire website, but you wanted the second section to be dark. All you have to do is add a data attribute to it and just call it dark. And it automatically converts everything to dark. You don't have to go in there and change the color of the text. You don't have to go in there and change each individual item. As long as you stay within the spectrum, right? Of that color of the neutral, it's going to automatically convert to the lighter version of it. So that's how powerful it is. Super simple, right? Done. Take it off and you can just re add it if you need to simple. But another key thing is this is an H2 heading. We've introduced a little cool pop-up to help you kind of not memorize pixels. So what do you have to do here on the font size, right click. We're going to introduce a little pop up here. You go to header size. So it's an H2, but we have a jumbo called H um, O. 
is the jumbo version of the tag. So you can make it an H1 sizing, not, not the tag, but the size. Or you want it to be an H2, but the size of an H4. Right, so you're there. So we got the text. Same thing with the text. We want to change the size of it. We can make it small, medium, or large text. If you want to do a little call out or something, right? Or if you want a medium, it's the default text for the website. So if you want to add a radius, the same thing. Go to radius. We have a small, medium, large. You want to turn into a pill, an atom. We all have those options here. So that's how easy it is to change your settings there. Let me see what else. Mm, oh, the gap. So we also have ability to add spacing. If you want to introduce a little bit more spacing to your gap, but you don't want to remember a number, always use medium, right? Always use medium, use small, extra small, extra, extra small. So you can do that. So let me see. But I think that's super cool, right? Introduce a little pop-up. And that's basically all a head spin. This initial phase is um, phase one. So don't don't at me. Don't say I'm missing X, Y, and Z. We know. But this original idea was for me to have something um, super cool for my clients. And I'm introducing it to you. But also, as we're creating this, um, we have 400, I just had a brain for it. We have 400 uh, sections, low five frames gonna be introduced as well. So you're not only getting the plugin, you're getting access to a ton, a ton of frames. Are you ready? I am, let's go.